It is already the end of August and I had made plans to go visit my village located in Meghalaya in the month of May. Five painfully slow months have passed by since the lockdown began. It's not like I hate city life but being in a city with nothing much to do for months together can make you think otherwise. I terribly miss my village tucked away deep inside the forest of West Castle Hills. I miss the sights and sounds of the forest. The chirping of birds and the occasional sightings of small wild animals. The loud calls of the cicada. The forest is so thick that it is dark even during the daytime and you can actually see fireflies in the daytime. My mom told me that when they were in school in the late 1950s, the forest was so thick that elephants were permanent residents there and going to school which was in another village at the base of a hill, they could clearly hear elephants flapping their ears and quivering. Did you know that elephants can chirp and squeak too? Funny right? It was a news to me too when my mom told me that. Now most of the elephants are gone deep inside the forest and they visit only occasionally. I also miss my mom's farm. Our house is located in the center of our farm and my mom through her hard work built a farm that is loaded with fruits and vegetables. Apart from Arica nut, mom grows ginger as the main cash crop. She grows corns, beans, potatoes, yams, tapioca, sweet potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, cabbages, squash and several other vegetables. She also raises chicken and fishes. She has about 200 chickens if I'm not wrong. I'm telling you chicken in that number can get very rowdy and be annoying. <laughs> Climbing and destroying lots of plants. I find it funny when my mum has had it with a particular chicken for its unruly behaviour. She detains him or her under the coxep bamboo basket for an entire day. <laughs> I terribly miss my furry friends. Smart, Jellert, Toki, Last time when I was there, Toki gave birth to three chubby pups. I cannot wait to go back and smother them. They must be all grown up now. And everyone in the village feels as smart as the father. Anywhere a litter of pup is born, people feel that the pups look like smart and smart as the father. Some active dog he must be. <laughs> anyway, can't wait to go back home and be smothered by those pups. Unless someone else has asked for them and my parents have given it to them. 
It's been almost four months since I last heard from my parents. The network there is terrible and it's so frustrating. I get news about them from my nephews and cousins who are more active and travel around. I miss all of it and I can't wait to go back home. Hope the situation ends soon for good.